ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology again and finally that most awaited day has arrived <laughs> the day everybody has been waiting 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 and dying some of them have died also yes finally venus turns direct today <laughs> venus has been in retrogression from 5th of october this year my god 2008 what a crazy ride it has been <laughs> <laughs> at least for me i don't know for others but it has been a very difficult it has been a ride full of lessons tortures also sometimes <laughs> but finally the lesson is now learned and now we are changing the course we are beginning a new journey new journey of love romance beauty creativity relationships and happiness does it sound like somebody <laughs> All right so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation and you are interested to know how this venus direct motion will affect you your horoscope or any other planets depending on your dashas and transits and existing planets in the sign of libra because venus is getting direct in the sign of libra then you can please go to my website to book a reading because if you ask me questions in the comments that i have this planet here this planet there then i cannot answer because i have to see the whole chart because you are undergoing a particular dasha and there are planets placed in the sign of libra in your chart or where is venus in your natal horoscope all right so those things will modify the results and each and every one person living in this planet will have different results for the same venus retrograde which just happened so you can go to my website if you want to book a reading you will find the link to my website also in the description section of my videos below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know what is venus going to do if when he goes direct he or she all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time and now he will he is there with you actually <laughs> even if he's not there he's still there all right so now october 5th we all know that that famous day when venus went retrograde retrograde a retrograde planet they say is the closest to the earth which means that whatever that planet represents those significations we feel those very strongly a retrograde planet is simply about feeling if you want to know what a retrograde planet is just think like this that you are staying in a home but imagine that there's a person who is just standing in front the moment you go outside you cannot avoid the person it's like that so whenever a planet goes retrograde those things which we were neglecting regarding that planet those things come up to the surface that is why when venus goes retrograde you will see we get a desire to contact somebody who we loved in the past or rather let me say who we loved in the past but we thought that we don't love that person anymore that is why you will see that and as i said in my venus retrograde video last time that it has been more than so many people messaging me that my ex girlfriend my ex boyfriend is messaging me or i am getting a irresistible desire to message them i i i can't stop it you know <laughs> now either i am feeling like that or when that person is uh, messaging me i am feeling that i should message that person see why these things happen is because uh, nowadays in the materialistic society there is a saying that the best way to see before saying that i will say tell you what the problem is when venus goes retrograde what happens is our emotions for somebody if they were not completely if we were not completely out of that emotional trauma which we had then those things will come up to the surface which means externally we will see something related to the to our ex boyfriend or ex girlfriend suddenly you will see a name which pops up which is the name uh, which is the same name or suddenly somebody who is 
staying near to their home will come and contact you or suddenly you will see somebody who uh, you used to see with that person used to see with that person means suppose you had a mutual friend suddenly that person will contact you that person is not contacting you it is the remembrance of that person who is contacting you that person <laughs> all right or you may end up doing those things which you were doing exactly when you had the breakup yes that time you might be doing all those things now when venus goes retrograde these things can happen so what happens is we fall in love with somebody and then due to some reason the relationship doesn't work or suppose after falling in love you get into a relationship provided and then there are good experiences and then the relationship breaks so then what happens is the problem is we do not give ourselves sufficient time to heal ourselves from that relationship should i repeat we do not give or we did not give ourselves the sufficient amount of time to heal ourselves because of that what we did is we went into a relationship with another person because the other day i was seeing a, a video where there was a great uh, motivational coach great dating expert i will not take his name maybe somebody is intelligent they will know so i was seeing a video of that uh, person somebody had forwarded that video to me it was a <laughs> i mean if there are coaches and guides like this why do you need demons in this world so what this person said is the best way to get over your ex is to get get on somebody else so which means suppose you are thinking of somebody and you can't stop thinking about that person get into a relationship with an another person that is that's disaster actually it's like saying there's a tsunami and now there's flood also together it's raining 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 along with the time when there's tsunami so then what happens is our mind parallelly keeps oscillating oh i am thinking of this person no 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 i had a breakup i don't want to think of this person then let me think of this person then there's a frustration which comes from this relationship then we are like oh maybe that relationship was good that this this thing keeps happening and that wrecks havoc in our life i have seen so many people my god their lives have been destroyed by this dance <laughs> so when there is a breakup we must give the time <laughs> we must give ourselves the time to heal from that relationship we will feel like crying we will feel like as if the world has ended we will feel like we are going to die <laughs> we will feel that there is nothing left in this world for me it is so painful because remember sun sets in the 7th house whoever is born in the time of sunset sun will be in their 7th house sometimes 6th house sometimes 8th house depending on the time of course so whenever we totally engross ourselves in somebody and that person goes away we feel like dying and it's perfectly fine if somebody feels that like the other day some uh, there was a girl who messaged me that she had a breakup and she's feeling like committing suicide and she has another friend who had who also had undergone a breakup during this venus retrograde but she was perfectly cool with it so i told this girl that she is cool your friend is cool because she is permanently damaged should i repeat because she is permanently damaged she is finished she is gone throw her to the dustbin don't throw her <laughs> no no amount of healing can solve the problem of that girl because she is so damaged that she has she has uh, lost the power to invest in relationships so now it's like for that friend of hers she's like oh it's a breakup you know what's the big deal i'll find somebody else but for that for that girl who messaged me she had invested so much time in the relationship and finally something happened and she's like i can't stay with this person so she's telling me that she's feeling like dying she's like i don't know my soul will come out i feel i have lost a part of me which cannot be replaced and that's very true that happens whenever there is a breakup or when when your heart is completely shattered but the mistake which we do is because people are reading magazines on love romance and uh, how to have premarital sex how to watch pornography and all these things people are doing watching this 
dating coaches in the in things like in uh, places like youtube so what this is hey you are having a emotional trauma no problem you can compensate it by sex yes so what you do is you get into casual relationships then you start sleeping you start enjoying with everybody then what will happen is you will forget the other person no it will never happen that will make the problem 10 times worse that that's like the worst thing you can do or not sexually but try to get into a loving relationship with somebody else well that you can do eventually but if you are taking that as a refuge to run away from your inner feelings which you still have for somebody else that is also equally disastrous please don't do that if you do that then what will happen is some time or the other you will see that suddenly when that person contacts you back or something related to that person you see again you will not be able to control yourself and 90% of the people do this mistake they get into a new relationship of course because they may be liking that person but along with that there's another main reason is they want to forget their ex ex x y z whatever you call him <laughs> so because of that they still have this unresolved emotions so that creates challenges in the current relationship also and whenever anything related to that person comes back they get terrorized themselves they get terrorized that is why you will see the internet is flooded by these messages oh that person is messaging me back what should i do are why are you worrying let him message don't reply <laughs> or just reply that uh, we can't be together now we should not be talking that that you should be able to reply without asking anybody without crying without doing without feeling anything because you are supposed to get out of those feelings now if you have not healed yourself and you entered into a new relationship then when venus goes retrograde pook it comes up <laughs> and when that pook happens you are like <laughs> so venus retrograde is a very beautiful time to check your attachment to the past relationships you will see that your weakness will be exposed if you had some unresolved feelings for somebody that will that will come out and it's very good that it comes out because then you get a chance to heal yourself now the question is how to heal yourself the answer is very simple suffering is a wake up call should i repeat suffering is a wake up call the other day there was a lady who messaged me that her uh, husband is no more okay so i told that lady that madam you are crying you are devastated you are totally damaged because your husband is no more but let me let me give you a very interesting piece of information your husband was never supposed to be there with you all the time should i repeat your husband was never supposed to be there always for you one day he would have anyways left you which means either you are single or you are married or you are in a living relationship or you are just casually going on with people either ways they will not stay with you eternally and even if they stay with you you will not stay eternally that is what lord krishna says in the gita that dukhalaya machachvatam napnu vanti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam gata lord krishna says that in the gita that dukhalaya machachvatam that this world material world is a place of misery napnu vanti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam gata that then if you take shelter of me you will transcend over all this all the misery mahatmana and krishna also defines the word mahatma mahatmana sto mam partha daivim prakriti mashitam bhajanti ananya manaso gyatva bhuta dimavyayam mahatmana sto mam partha o partha partha is the name of arjun mahatmanastu mam partha mahatmas are those daivim prakriti mashitam one who takes shelter in daivi prakriti divine potency 
Daivi Prakriti means the spiritual potency of Lord Krishna. Bhajanti Ananya Manaso. Bhajanti means he constantly keeps speaking about me. Bhajan, Bhajan, Bhajan means to speak about God. Either you speak about his pastimes or you sing. As they say in India, he is singing bhajans. You can sing or you can speak. When you speak about Lord Ram, when you speak about Krishna, when you speak about the scriptures, that is also bhajan. That is also kirtan. The word kirtan means to spread the kirti. Kirti means greatness, glories of God. So that is done either by speaking or by singing. That is why they say that he is uh, singing kirtan or he is doing kirtan. All right. Bhajanti Ananya Manaso. Ananya Manaso means with all his mind, is all his heart and soul. Ananya is infinite. Manaso through his mind. Gyatva by no, by the fact the fact that he knows. Bhutadim Avyayam. That I am the cause of all causes. I am everything basically. One who knows this, and after knowing this, he speaks about me to others. He is a Mahatma. And then Krishna also says, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Naso Chati Nakang Shati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Madhbhaktim Labhate Param Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma One who is situated in Brahma Bhuta is Prasannatma, is happy. Prasanna, the word Prasanna, have you seen in Hindi there is a word Prasannata. Aap bahut Prasanna hoi. <laughs> lag raha hai aaj. Bahut khush lag raha hai. Khushi is a word from Urdu, I guess. But the Hindi or I don't know that Sanskrit word is Prasannata. That comes from this shloka. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. Krishna is telling this. <laughs> from there, this is the origin of that word. Na so chati na kangshati. There is no so, so chati kangshati is not there. Hankering is not there. Lamentation is not there. Hankering is, oh, I want a new boyfriend. I want a new girlfriend. I want this sexy lady. I want that handsome man. I want this. I want that. Ah. So chati kangshati. Hankering, then lamentation. Oh, I lost that girl. She was so nice. <laughs> I lost him. I lost her. That person. When will I find somebody like that person? But you cannot find somebody like that person. Oh my God, it's finished. You will never find. <laughs> because that one person is an individual which cannot be replicated by anybody. Okay. So you will never find that person again but he will again find somebody else who you might fall in love with <laughs> and that person will also be unique all right so brahma bhuta prasanatva na sochati na kangshati sama sarveshu bhuteshu he sees everything equally everybody equally mad bhaktim labhate param at that state he attains devotional service that is what krishna says and Krishna also says at the end, Bhaktim Maim Param Kritwa, that sloka is the very beautiful sloka. So whenever you are having suffering in life, understand that God is telling you in your ears, Hey my dear sir, wake up, wake up, wake up. Can you hear? <laughs> at least you can hear now maybe when I when I was saying, right? Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yes, God is telling that in your ears. Whenever God is giving you a trial of suffering, whenever God is giving you any suffering, think like that. He is showing you a trailer. Suppose you had a breakup. Breakup is what basically? It's the trailer of death, right? You feel like dying when there is a breakup, if you are serious, provided. And when you die, actually what happens? You are seeing the full-fledged movie of that breakup, right? Because suppose you break up today, tomorrow... Uh, you may again uh, patch up, right? Or you may fall in love with somebody else. But when you die, you are totally, you have broken up with everybody. Permanently. You can never get back to your ex. You can never get back to your Y, Z, Theta, Gamma, Alpha, Beta. You have broken up with everybody. Your mother, father, son, daughter. That beautiful neighbor who was there. Yes. Who you are eyeing on. <laughs> Everybody's finished. That's the end of it all. So whenever there is suffering in life, we have to understand it's a trailer of death. 
that is why the scriptures are shouting 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 why do you think they are shouting at the top of their voice rishab dev says to bharat maharaj the most esteemed of all of his sons and he says this to all of his sons also in the fifth canto of the shrimad bhagavatam he says tapo divyam putra kayena satvam tapo divyam he says tapasya for spiritual progress is divya putra kayena satvam it increases satva guna and it will purify you and then that will put you in a platform where you can practice spirituality because there are three modes the mode of satva guna which is mode of goodness then there is rajoguna which is mode of passion and then there is tamoguna tamoguna is the mode of ignorance so now you can begin spirituality anywhere you can be in satva guna or in rajoguna or in tamoguna but to maintain your spiritual commitments you have to be in satva guna there is zero ambiguity on that no compromise suppose a person is drinking smoking or indulging in illicit sex then the person can still chant mantra still do things but he cannot continue doing it because the modes of nature the rajoguna and tamoguna they are so strong they will pull them pull them down again okay so when you are in satva guna which is in mode of goodness your mind is calm then you can continue your spiritual practices and then you can elevate yourself spiritually gradually because anybody can do spiritual practices for a month or for a day or for a minute or for one year or two years three years but if you want serious spiritual enlightenment then we have to make sure that we do it lifelong and for that we have to have a lifestyle which enriches the satva guna inside which encourages us to be in satva guna for that we have to have the company of people who will help us become more satvik if the company of people we are having they are discussing about who is having an affair with whom affair is what basically that's rajogun then who is uh, winning who won the cricket match that's what tamogun basically discussing about sports cricket football and all this some people are hitting the ball and the bat and you are sitting and clapping yay india won india defeated pakistan pakistan defeated australia such a waste of time you see you are helping others get more rich so you are simply wasting your time you are wasting your family's time that's what you are doing when you are watching sports go out and play sports if you want but why are you sitting and watching sports for god's sake if you are watching cricket will it be healthy for your body no it will in fact destroy your body you are just sitting in one place your bones will crack one day <laughs> have you seen young people getting arthritis these days because we are all sitting whole day we are not doing anything or if they are discussing about who is having an affair how did he get the job maybe by reference or how did she get the job maybe she has some uh, she is having a physical relation with the boss yes that is why the boss is favoring her more or how did he get the job his boss is a female so both of them are having a uh, some something cooking in between them you know so his female boss had preferred him for the job right these things if people are discussing around you then you are in satva guna but they are uh, putting rajoguna inside you so it's like you are lighting fire and they are coming and putting water <laughs> so if there are people who are discussing all these things we need to distance ourselves from these people and we need to find the company of spiritually minded people at least in the weekends with whom we can discuss the topics of the scriptures of course <laughs> do not go to a satsang program or a spiritual center and there don't go and discuss finances politics cricket or who is getting married to whom leave that for the materialistic society you don't indulge in that so when you get time visit a spiritual center all right and when you visit the spiritual center you recite shlokas from the shrimad bhagavatam whichever shloka you like 
If you like, you can go to any canto. Narayana para sarve na kutas chana vibhyati. Swarga pa varga narkeshu apitulyarthi darsinaha. If you don't like this shloka, you can take some other shloka. Dhan madhyasaya to navayat itarata charthesu bhigya swarat. Tene brahma hidayadi kavaye muhyanti atasuraya. Tejo valimidam yatha vini mayos tisar go misha. Dhamana svena nirasta kuhakam satyam param adhimahi. Which shloka is this? Oh yes, this is the first shloka of the Srimad Bhagavatam which begins with Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. My obeisance is to Lord Vasudev, who is the, sorry, to Lord Vasudev, who is the son of Vasudev. Ranmadhyasayatonvayad. Or you can read the Mahabharata. You can read the Ramayana. You can read the Brahma Samhita. Venum Kvananta Maravin Dadalaya Taksham Barahavatam Samasitam Buddha Sundarangam Lakshmi Sahastra Satasam Brahma Sevyamanam Goloka Eva Nijadhamni Nivasi Reka Srishti Stiti Pralaya Sadhana Shakti Reka Shyamam Tribhanga Lalitam Navayovanam Cha Govindamadi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Yasya Sada Sakalendri Avritti Manti I can go on and on. <laughs> so when you realize that this material world will never give you ultimate happiness, it will give you happiness in tidbits, but it will not satisfy the soul because the Vedanta Sutra says, Anand Mayo Bhyasat. The soul is looking for eternally unlimited amount of happiness. Can you imagine? The soul is not looking for wine, alcohol, sex, music. That the soul is identifying with the body. That is why the soul is thinking. When I drink, I will get some pleasure in the tongue. When I am having sex with somebody, then uh, there is a chemical which my genitals are secreting and that chemical is being secreted in my body it is not in the body of the opposite sex look at the illusion so because of that the soul uh, gets a misidentification that I am also happy you know I am also enjoying but actually the soul is looking for unlimited happiness as in Srimad Bhagavatam's 10th canto it is said that when Krishna was there in Vrindavan, the residents of Vrindavan, they are, they are drowning in, in ecstasy. Damodar month is going on now. And in that, Satyavrat Muni says, if you know in which shloka he says, then write it down in the comments. He says that you are drowning the inhabitants of Gokula in pools of ecstasy. He says that. Yes, Satyavrat Muni says this. I am not saying this. <laughs> in Damodar Ashtakam, which Satyavrat Muni has written, this is mentioned there. Alright? So that is what the soul is looking. So we have to find our happiness in reconnecting to God, which we have lost. That is why they say rekindling uh, the divine, the lost love. Rekindling wisdom, reviving love. <laughs> That's one of the taglines which my guru uses sometimes. So we have to rekindle our lost relationship with God. And when we do that, then we will realize that these relationships, my husband, my girlfriend, my wife, my boyfriend, whoever they are, they will anyways perish one day. Today they are there, tomorrow they may not be there. Men are whimsical, women are also whimsical. Today they are there, tomorrow they say, oh, you know, I don't love you. Have you seen people's love at first sight, divorce at first fight? Yes, yes, yes. Love at first sight, divorce at first fight. Today they will say, oh, I love you. Tomorrow they will say, I hate you. There was a girl once she told me that she hates her boyfriend so much. And not ex-boyfriend, current boyfriend. Okay. That when the boyfriend comes and he's eating potato chips. There's a sound, you know, because he has a habit that he will, uh, when he will eat, he will uh, open his mouth and eat. He will not eat it inside. He will not close his mouth. Some people have this habit that when they eat, they make a lot of noise. She says, I am so much irritated with this noise 
from inside his mouth that I feel like breaking his skull sometimes. I'm so I'm so totally disgusted with this person. But imagine she's still staying, you know, because she's desperate. She cannot stay alone. She feels that if I stay alone, I will die. So instead of that, she prefers to stay with somebody who she totally hates. And this was the same person who she was madly in love <coughs> six months back. They used to, uh, he, she used to get dreams and fantasies of when this person will come, touch me, kiss me, hug me, bring roses for me, celebrate Valentine's Day together. And now the situation is, she cannot tolerate that sound also, which is coming from his mouth. <laughs> yes, that's the precarious situation of the uh, human society today. So either ways, you have a good relationship or you have a bad relationship. You are divorced or you are single. Always remember, you came alone, you will go alone. Venus will get retrograde again and again and again after 18 months. So let these people keep coming. Let him come back. Let her come back. But you also try to go back to God. <laughs> Otherwise, every Venus retrograde will make your life hell. Ask yourself, March 4th to April 15th, 2017. Your life was hell that time because that time Venus was retrograde and now again October 5th to November 15th your life became hell because Venus again went retrograde. Alright. And now finally Venus is direct. So now whichever house is Venus is ruling as per your ascendant. Suppose you are a Capricorn ascendant then Venus is your 10th lord for Capricorn and Leo. Just an example. Then things related to career will now move. Venus is the seventh lord. Then things related to marriage or relationships because Venus is also the natural ruler of the seventh house. So for uh, Aries and Scorpio, they will feel this more. All right. And depending on whichever your ascendant is, you will feel it on that house. All right. So there you go. It's been a long video. So finally, Venus turns direct. So these, these are the things that I wanted to share that we may feel sometimes that life is not good that person left me or i left that person but always remember one day that person will anyways go or you will go <laughs> that person may stay with you lifelong but you may not be able to stay with them okay so cultivate spirituality cultivate spiritual wisdom visit spiritual centers in your city during the weekends, chant mantras in the morning or in the evening. And if you get time, go to holy places. You can go to Kanchipuram, you can go to Haridwar, you can go to Rishikesh, you can go to Varanasi, you can go to Vrindavan, you can go to Mathura, you can go to Shirangam, you can go to Tirupati, my God. You can go to Makkah also. You can go to Jerusalem, wherever you want, please go. You can go to the Vatican, whichever appeals you. Alright? And by that, rekindle your lost love which you have inside dormant for God then even if Venus is retrograde you will still survive <laughs> alright so if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know what will Venus do when he goes direct <laughs> well he will not do anything much because whatever he had to do he has already he had already done alright so now he's not going to do anything <laughs> So you can still share this video with them and if you want a consultation regarding your placements in the horoscope and if you want to know if somebody will come back in your life then you can go to my website you will find the link to the website in the description section of this video below somewhere here all right and before i end as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there with you after venus goes direct okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you